Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're here in Laguna Bell Air Tree to feature this four bedroom home that can fit your four cars and it has a spacious garden area. So tara, let's start this video. Before natin ipagpatuloy ang ating house tour, let me introduce myself. I'm Armand Cruz. I'm a real estate broker in the Philippines and I sell properties in the South, specifically in Laguna, Cavite, and Batangas. And if you're new to my channel, kindly so hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell para ma-update ka with our latest property listings. And you can also visit our website, livingthesouthph.com or you can also go on our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram. So tara, let's continue with the house tour. This property is located inside the quiet neighborhood of Laguna Bel Air in Binan, Laguna. It is accessible via the Santa Rosa exit, the Eaton City exit, and the Cavite Laguna Expressway. It's near schools like De La Salle Laguna, Don Bosco Laguna, Saints Pro West Grove, Xavier New Valley, and Miriam New Valley. Malapit din po siya sa mga hospitals like UniHealth Santa Rosa Medical Center, the Medical City of the South, and Healthway Qualimed Hospital. It's also near malls like Walter Mart Bel Air Laguna, Paseo de Santa Rosa, Vista Mall Santa Rosa, and Solinad New Valley. For the specifications of this property, this sits in a lot area of 288 square meters and a floor area of 320 square meters ang luwag po niya. And we also have four bedrooms, three toilet and bath, a maid's room, it, their own toilet and bath and also service area and you can also park four cars in your carport and meron pa po tayong lawn or garden area so tara, let's tour the whole property as you can see in this video sobrang haba po ng frontage natin which makes the house look very grand and very wide and very big and it's it's very nice ang ganda po niyang tingnan from the exterior and it's very welcoming especially if you're the type of person who likes to entertain guests or if you're the type of person na malaki yung family niyo this house might be the one for you so let's go on the carport and explore yung four carport po natin so this is yung carport area natin this is a designated Related area for your cars, kasha po yung ating mga SUVs and also sedans and even your van. Um, it will be parked siguro mga parallel and sobrang luwag po niya, sobrang laki po niya. If you would like to place siguro a small pool here, kasha rin po siya. You'd like to place a small, a, a basketball court here if you have kids that likes to play basketball. Maybe a football area or maybe if you'd like to put siguro a small structure have your own home gym, pwedeng pwede po siya. And nakikita nyo naman po, you, also, you already have your basic landscaping and also you have your pine trees here. Now, uh, let's continually uh, ex uh, tour the exterior part of the house. So here in our carport, we also have an access going to our service area, going inside the house. So kung pag nagpark na po kayo dito, instead of umikot pa kayo dun sa unahan para makapasok, pwede naman kayo dito pumasok sa side entry natin. So as we enter here on the side entry, you will have you will be greeted by your lanai which also have a roofing and pwede nyo pong lagyan ng tables and chairs dan, which has an access going to the house. But I'd like to show you or like to focus on this exterior part of the house is the service area wherein you can do a little bit of cooking and also some of your laundry. Pwede nandito tayo magsampay na ating mga damit. You also have an outdoor toilet and bath Meron na po siyang toilet, you also have your sink and you also have your shower area. This can be used by your help or pwede rin po ng mga guests nyo if you have a party outside of the house. I can just imagine the multitude of things na pwede nyong gawin dito. You can have in events in this house. You don't need to bring them inside the house. You just set up sa a tent dito sa labas. Pwede na po kayo mag-entertain. You also have this um, rightly size or just a right size for your maid's room or your helper's room. If wala naman po kayo helper, you can have this, you can make convert this into your storage area or your bodega. Pero dito po, you can fit your single bed. Pag mas marami or you have two maids or two, two house help, you can have a double deck. 
Now, dito naman sa side na to, sa other side, or the, the one beside our maids room, is uh, your condenser yung, uh, for your split type air conditioning for the ground floor room sa baba. So, dito po, you can have your, pwede rin po kayo magsampay ng mga damit. You can store some of the uh, belongings that you don't like, you don't need, or you seldomly use. Pwede niyo po siyang gawin na small bodega area. So, ikot pa tayo dito sa bandang unahan ng bahay. And I tell you what, I really like this house because sobrang dami open spaces, sobrang airy po niya. Uh, but still, this is a single attached house. So, meron po siyang firewall on one side. So, this is another space for your garden or your landscaping or maybe you can have your plants here. And this is the frontage of your house. You have your front porch with your tiles. And you can even put a small sofa or a small bench here. Now, uh, wherein you can just sit down before you go out or you can just sit down, just entertain people for a short while. You can also sit down here uh, when you wear your shoes or your slippers. You can uh, actually put a shoe cabinet para pwede pong paglagay ng mga gamit natin bago tayo pumasok ng bahay. So, ito po yung main door natin. Mamaya, papasukin po natin to. Pero as you can see, sobrang ganda po ng design ng pintu natin. Modern, you have your black finish and also you have the brown uh, varnish. Meron na po tayong mga fluted panels po dyan. Now, this part, this is actually a, another space wherein you can entertain your guests. This can be your uh, work area. This can be a workout area if you prefer. This can also be uh, an outdoor dining. You can actually entertain guests here. Kung medyo madiit lang po yung event nyo sa house, it's a, just a small gathering. This has a uh, connecting or this is a sliding door going inside our dining area. So this can be your extension for your indoor dining area. For uh, just a small gathering, if you just have like 20 or less than 20 people, pwede po kayong maglagay ng setup dito. You can actually have tables and chairs. You can ha have a sofa here. So, tapos na tayo sa exterior part ng bahay. Pasok naman tayo sa loob. Now, it's about time to tour the inside of the house. So, tara, pasok po kayo. We will be greeted by our solid wood door with our fluted panels here na nakaka-modern po talaga and you really I really like yung black design na handle po natin sobrang ganda. I, I really like it ang ganda po niya and you will be also greeted parang yung house design ng loob nito parang may pagka-barnyard yung loob niya so you also have this chandelier here which will be um, welcoming your guests or welcoming you whenever inside enter inside the house you have this small foyer that you can put a table and you can also put a mirror here if you prefer that or if you wala po kayong mga pamahiin I don't may mga in regarding mirrors uh, to be placed on the the front of the house so comment lang below kasi hindi po ako masyadong maalam sa mga pamahiin na yan so as we move a little bit further we will be greeted by our living area it's a good sized living area you can place big chairs tables and chairs here you can actually have your tv place um, maybe in this area and then you can have a shelves here it depends so it's very spacious um, uh, pan turnover kasama na po yung ating LED lightings and you also have the chandelier and all throughout the house makikita niyo po marami po tayong PVC panels po na naka-install sa ating ceiling which gives that modern effect sa house. By the way, this house pala is newly renovated and it was really renovated very very well. So, tara po, right across our living area would be yung dining and yung kitchen area natin. So, this is our dining area. It can easily fit your 8-seater dining table. Kapag 10-seater, um, baka po medyo kailangan nyo po i-adjust yung inyong furnitures because um, yung space po niya is baka pag sobrang laki na po na furniture, hindi siya kamasya. So, right beside our dining area would be our kitchen with our countertop. This is a... Uh, this is ano, marble ya tato or ano, granite countertop. I'm re not really sure. So you also have your modular cabinets here. You have your rain shoot. You have your cook top. And you also have lighting here so that it can help you whenever you're cooking or preparing food. You also have your um, your sink and you also have your dish drain here. And dami na pong kasama dito sa bahay na to na hindi nyo pang kailangan idagdag. Now, dito rin sa ating kitchen area, we also have an access door to the the outdoor space or the outdoor kitchen uh, outdoor dining area that I said and we also have this 
pantry, cabinet na para po sa ating mga siguro kitchen necessities. Okay? So, we also have, dito rin pala, I forgot to mention, dito sa ating dining area would be our sliding glass door going to our outdoor dining area or siguro parang additional living area. So, dito rin po sa ating ground floor, we have our first toilet and bath. This is actually has a shower. So, you have your modular cabinet on your sink. You have your mirror. Meron na po tayong toilet. You also have your bidet. You have your um, um, matte finish na black green sh uh, shower. And you also have uh, yung tiles natin all the way to the ceiling and your LED lights. Now, right beside the first toilet and bath of the house would be yung ating Siguro, this is, can be a laundry area. Kanya po, sabi ko, you can do laundry dun sa side na ating maids. This is another space wherein you can also do your laundry. It depends. You can have your cooking here. Kasi you have this open space dito sa taas that allows for the smoke of the food to go out. Especially, pag magluluto ka ng mga daing natin dyan, yung mga tuyo, syempre, smelly po yan sa loob ng ating bahay. But this one, uh, judging with the how the developer did this or the builder did this, this is really intended for your laundry. But if, if you prefer doing the laundry on the other side, pwedeng pwede po siya. So, let's also tour, before we go up to the second floor, let's also tour the first bedroom of the house. And this is the biggest bedroom of the house. Actually, some people, they consider this as your uh, master's bedroom. So, if you have people or elderly living with you, or if you have a very big family, this is really fitted for you. So you have your cabinet, you have your LED lights, you have your center light there. And lahat po pala ng rooms dito comes with your air conditioning. So, um, uh, ang idadagdag nyo na lang po is your furniture, your bed, and you also dadaling na lang po ninyo yung mga gamit ninyo. So as you can see, kasha po ating double bed, single double bed. Actually, dalawang kama po na double bed, kasha po dito. King size, kasha kasha. Queen size, kasha kasha. So very spacious po siya. Again, this is perfect for people who has elderly sa bahay or you have uh, a very big family na kailangan po talaga marami kayong room for. Uh, for housing a lot of people. This is actually can be another library, entertainment area, and office. So before, again, nakalimutan ko pala, meron pala tayo, apart from the first bedroom, meron tayong um, storage space dito sa ilalim ng stairs. So this can be your bodega or this is your bodega. So yung mga gamit po na gusto nyong nakatago lang or hindi nyo masyado nang ginagalaw, pwede nyo pong itago dyan, out of sight po siya. It will look la as if the house is very, very clean kasi yun lang naman yung concern. Minsan, marami tayong gamit na hindi na nagagalaw tapos nakatambak lang kung saan saan. Pero at least ito, pwede nyo pong ilagay dito yung mga gamit na hindi na masyadong ginagalaw. So tapos na tayo dito sa first floor. Let's go to the second floor. Welcome to the second floor. So, habang paakit ako sa stairs, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. We have reached over 23,000 subs uh, 24,000 subscribers. And dagdagan po po natin yan this 2024. Our goal for this year is 50,000. I know 90% of you watching right now is not subscribed. So, if you want to support me, subscribe right now so that you can support and we can do this more often. So, welcome to the second floor. Dito po sa second floor, we have three bedrooms, we have two toilet and bath, and we have two spacious balconies. Let's begin with the first bedroom. To my right, this is square in shape, kasha pong atin, semi-double, and also queen-size bed. You know what? I really like houses na meron na po siyang kasamang closet space because you can already imagine how big of a bed can you put. So, kasha po dito yung queen-size natin. Medyo sisiksik lang po siya dun sa paanan. Maybe a semi-double can really totally fit in this space. Sakong-sakto po siya. Pwede po kayong maglagay pa ng small study area if you need one. Now, this is your cabinets. You have enough storage space for every, for just a single person or probably two people. It depends who's going to be staying here. Pero this is very spacious. Talagang pag pang malaking family tung bahay na to. Now, by the way, when you get here on the second floor, notice the ceilings. Yung ceilings po natin are PVC panels po yan, which is sobrang maganda po yan in the long term. Bakit? Hindi po siya basta-basta 
matatarnish because it, you don't need to repaint that anymore. Pag nadumihan niyan, pupunasan niyo lang po yan. Sobrang long term po nung ginamit na materials niyan. Sobrang sulit po niya. For the flooring, this is vinyl wood floorings po natin. And ang ganda po nito para sa ating paa because it's not too cold. Pwede po yung mag-bare feet kahit malamig po yung weather dito sa Santa Rosa. So this is the second bedroom on the second floor. Slightly smaller as compared to the first room in the second floor. Now, you also have your cabinets here. And this room has a special feature. Now, itong bedroom na to has its own access to a spacious balcony. So, if you, um, if you like balconies, this house has two balconies. Sobrang sulit niya. And I think this house is made for somebody who likes the outdoors. So, this is perfect for you. Meron po tayong space here, a very huge space here. You can still put multiple chairs here. You can put maybe, pwede nga dito. Siguro dito na rin yung workout area niya. Lagyan niyo lang po ng bubong. Okay, so punta naman tayo sa ating master's bedroom. We're almost done with the tour. Kindly comment down below what you like about this property. Me, personally, I really like yung spaciousness na if I be, have a big family, I have siguro five to six family members, even up to seven family members, I can definitely get this house. Okay, so let's go to the master's bedroom. Ay, by the way, meron po tayong common toilet and bath. I almost forgot. So this is your common toilet and bath. You have your tiles all the way up to the ceiling. You have your shower. You have your toilet bidet. You also have your uh, sink with a uh, modular cabinet and also your bathroom mirror. So this is the master's bedroom. If you will notice, yung bedroom sa baba and dito sa taas, mas malaki pa yung bedroom sa baba. Sobrang luwag po niya. Ito po, mas maliit ng konti. Pero you know what? Um, if, siguro in the future, if you're still young, tapos tingin mo naman dito ka, you're not gonna buy another property, at least meron ka ng backup room sa baba for when you get to the senior age. So again, ito naman, iba naman yung kulay ng ating PVC panels dito sa ating ceiling. Kung kanina dun sa ating other bedrooms and also sa ating hallway would be gray. This is brown. You also have your cabinet space here. You also have your um, vinyl wood pl planks. And you also, ang spacious po niya. So sobrang dami po niya bintana. Now, you also hear dito sa ating master's bedroom would be uh, the biggest toilet and bath of the house. So as you can see, you have your uh, bathroom mirror, mirror with shelves. You have your um, sink. Tapos meron na po siyang aluminum cabinet sa baba. You have your toilet. You have your glass enclosure in your shower area. And hindi lang po yung nagtatapos dyan. You also have your sliding uh, shelves here where you can have additional storage space which will act parang siyang ano, um, walk-in closet or semi-walk-in closet or partially walk-in closet po siya. Now, if the second bedroom here in the second floor has its own balcony, syempre yung master's bedroom rin dito. Okay, this one has a private balcony na pwede nyo pong lagyan ng inyong tables and chairs, a small sofa, you can, you can just sit down here, unwind, relax before you go to sleep. Maybe read some, read a book, read news, watch the watch YouTube, watch my YouTube channel. You can go on TikTok or social media. Thank you for watching this house tour. If you would like to see this property in the actual or you would like to inquire more about this, you can contact us in the contact information posted on the screen. We have our Viber, WhatsApp, and iMessage. We're also on Facebook and Instagram or if you want to see our other listings, you can also visit our website, livingthesouthph.com. Nandiyan po yung mga property listings natin na mga binibenta. And if you're not yet ready to purchase a property and you would just like to get updated with the promos, latest updates, and also mga project launches dito sa South Laguna, Cavite, and Batangas, you can join our Barber community. Nandiyan po yan sa ating description box. Now, if you would like to support our channel, I would like to invite you, number one, to subscribe to my channel. Number two, hit the notification bell para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong house tours. And also, hit that like button. Ang laking bagay po. If you help us hit that like button, kahit hindi po kayo subscribe basta i-hit nyo lang po yung like button na yan. Malaking bagay na po yan sa amin. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Armand Cruz, your licensed real estate broker. And hope to see you soon in my next house tours. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.